What's going on guys, Yearning with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Platinum, the randomized Nuzlocke run. Today we'll be taking on the third memory elite for last time we took on Bertha and lost Shell. Of all people, we had to lose Shell, the one Pokemon I really just thought was going to be with me the entire way. It's such an odd story with Shell, you know, I was so against using Shell at first, I did not want a Togepi. Then, um, you know, after the Iron Island incident, I really had, like, no choice but to use Togepi, because Togetic and Togekiss were both freaking bossly Pokemon. And, um, and ever since, I've just, I've loved him so much, and he's just been such a wonderful pal, very powerful, and, um, I have a newfound respect, for, I don't, I still despise Togepi, but I have a newfound respect for Togetic and Togekiss, so... Yeah, um, I miss, I'm going to miss him very much. Today we're going to be taking on Flint, the Fire-type Elite Four member. Yo, trainer, I wonder if he's going to have any more sex jokes. You and me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. Oh, come on, that's wrong. I heard from Volkner what you did at Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. I'm pretty amazing. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Oh, this is, this is so disturbing in so many ways. What are you doing? Oh my god, what was he just doing? Oh, was he just... Oh, my God. You were facing fire-type Pokemon. And then Flint showed you how to spear burns. Yeah. Oh, that that is... That is seriously some just very, very disturbing stuff. What he was talking about and, and doing there. I just... I don't even want to think about that. Um, Okay, so apparently he doesn't get some cool animation like Aaron did when Aaron, like, dropped down from the sky. Because Aaron's freaking amazing. And this guy's boring. So, um... He's leading off with a Houndoom, and I got Metalpod, who was actually going to set up his Sandstream, which is going to be wonderful. Um, so, hopefully I can be lucky, and uh, Earthquake will just, like, completely demolish his entire team. Sunny Day! Oh, you troll! Wow! I make such a big deal over setting up Earthquake, and <laughs> you just pop out, nope! But that's fine, because I can simply just switch out, and then bring Metalpod back in. And, uh, you know what'll happen then? Then your stupid little sunny day will be gone, you buddy. I hope it was worth it. I really hope that was worth it, okay? You just wasted everybody's time. And Metal Pot is now level 56. Awesome. He's just... I believe that is going to be Flint's um, highest level Pokemon, so... That'll kind of balance out. Next up is Infernape. Okay, this is the guy I was kind of worried about because he's going to have a fighting type move. So... We could go with Cheese here and just try to Psychic this thing. And, um, it'll be good, because, oh, cheese, I really, I cannot have cheese die. I need cheese for Garchomp. It's just, there's no other way of looking at it. I need cheese alive. So, hopefully, Flare Blitz, I don't resist that, do I? And, oh, okay, I do, but it's boosted by the sun, and it's going to be super freaking powerful. Come on, cheese, cheese, cheese. Yes! Thank you, you lived it. Oh, thank you so much. And hopefully a Psychic will kill it. You have a wonderful special attack. Um, if anything, we could just like health stall this thing till it kills it. <gasps> if it lives with red, I'm going to be so mad. Thank you. Jeez, thank you so much. You lived, you wonderful, wonderful person. Hopefully now uh, Metal Pod can come in and just wreck house and avenge Shell. Shell did not deserve to die. What are you moving? Explosion. <laughs> First off, I never understood how explosion is physical. I mean... You're blowing up. You're not, like, going up and, like, punching the person. You're just blowing up, and somehow that's a physical move. I never got that. And especially in a Nuzlocke, that's not happening. Um, Rapidash is up next. A little worried this thing might have Mega Horn, because that will be super effective. But the good news is we are going to get rid of the Sunny Day now with a permanent Sandstorm. So we got two down, three to go. Not really that afraid of Rapidash, to be honest. Um, Mega Horn, I don't even think Mega Horn would kill us, because we... Eh. We'll see. Sunny day! Oh my god, what the heck? I... <laughs> is this, is this going to happen every freaking time I send out poor Tyranitar? Just wants to have the freaking Sandstorm up, and you keep Sunny Dang, you monster. Wow, I wonder if all his Pokemon are Sunny Day. You guys will be able to tell, because his moveset's going to be over on the side of the screen. I don't know his movesets. I don't know what Pokemon he's going to have. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, sunlight is strong. Next up is Magmortar. Um, hmm, let's just stay in. I'm sure I could take a... I'm 
hope I could take his fire boost and move. Oh, 57. Wow, that's higher than I thought it'd be. Uh, maybe I should go for the Stone Edge? See, super effective Earthquake would be 200 base power. Super effective Rock Slide with Stab. I don't know if, if the Stab is added first and then the powers double. Or if, like, um, I don't know how that works with Stab and Super Effective. But I'm going to guess it's going to be around, like, 185 base power. So Earthquake would be more effective than Rock Slide. But Stone Edge would be more effective than Earthquake. But Stone Edge does have that 80% accuracy. And I just, I can't risk that. I have to go for Solar Beam! Poop! Whoa! No! Oh! No! Whoa! No! 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 Come on, metal pod! 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 Oh! You live! Thank you! Whoa! Was not expecting that. That was definitely um a nice little surprise, I suppose. Hopefully, I don't think an earthquake's gonna kill this thing. I do not believe it'll happen. Will it? Will it? Will it? Please! Did it die? Did it? Oh my god, there's something there. What the heck? He's gonna have a citrus berry. And he, I, I think that's still full restore range, which really sucks. Um, okay, you know what? We'll just both heal up. That is fine. Let's go for a. I could just use a hyper potion, but you know, full, real men use full restores. Um, is he gonna heal up? Is, is, is that heal range for him? Thunderbolt! What? What? Why would. Oh, that's, that's so adorable. Um. I have to heal up again, because Solar Beam will kill me. It will kill me from that range, and I just... I need to stall out this stupid sun. That's just what I have to do right now. Unfortunately, he is faster. Um, come on. As long as he doesn't get a crit. No crit. No crit. No crit. No crit. Come on. Please. Don't give... Don't, don't do this to me, game. I need him to live so bad right now. Come on. Come on. Come on, thank you. Sunny day. Oh, will you freaking end already? This is ridiculous. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna stall this guy out. I am not letting Metal Pod die. Not happening. You're gonna have to give. You're gonna have to try harder than that, bro. This, this just, it's not happening. Flamethrower. Um, probably do more to. We'll do more to Thunderbolt. Not as much as Solar Beam. Uh, thought I would do more than that. Sunlight faded. Finally. Okay. He can't kill me with anything he has. Solar Beam will take it two turns. And, um, I could probably go for the Rock Slide, but I'm going to be safe and go for the Earthquake. Thunderbolt isn't going to do that much. It will not kill me. I think last time it did, like, 50 damage or something like that, so... Yes, Earthquake did it. We beat Flint. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, my God. I really thought Metal Pod was going to die when I first saw that Solar Beam. That, that scared me a lot. I was very, very worried about that. But everything worked out for the best, and we um, we did it. Metal Pot. This is the end of the battle, right? He doesn't have any more hiding ground, does he? Oh, he does! Whoa! What? No, you... Oof. You tricked me. Okay, yeah, we'll keep battling. Flareon can't do much. Flareon's, like, most powerful move will probably be Fire Fang, and... <laughs> it's Fire Fang. Oh, it might have... Doesn't Flareon get superpower? I want to think Flareon gets superpower for some reason, and why am I staying in if I know this? Switch out, Hardy. Switch out, Will Wisp. Oh, it missed. Oh, that is very lucky. Uh, Earthquake will probably be able to handle this thing. Oh, of course, that time it does hit. All right, so our attack is going to be half now, which means it's going to take longer to kill this thing. Um, I'm assuming an Earthquake will still probably do over half. Let's see. How much is it going to do? Awesome. Okay, so another one will kill this thing. It doesn't have anything that can kill us, most likely. Wow, we're faster that time. Is there really a speed tie? Oh, maybe, maybe, um, he's going for a low priority move. Like, re I think reversal is low priority, so he might have been going for reversal. Because I know Flareon can get a fighting type move, and I don't remember what it is. You guys will be able to see its move sets over on the side of the screen. And with that, we've beat Flint. Three down, two to go. We will do this. We will avenge Shell. We will advance the 18, I think it's 18, other Pokemon who have died in this run. And every Pokemon has died in my last five runs. We will finally be victorious. This is the day it all comes together. Until next time, guys, I'm Artie Tech Yo-Yo. Peace!